Well, welcome to today's daily double. I'm really excited about what I get to share today. Today is not going to be like our other videos. We're not necessarily going to be reading through a passage today, but I'm going to share with you a quick thought that will hopefully help in how you approach your daily time with God. For many years of my Christian life, I had approached my daily time with God as a bit of a chore. Bible reading, prayer, it was something that I had to tick off and get done so that I could move on with my day. And you know, sometimes I would get something out of that time because God is just so gracious, but other times I wouldn't. In Matthew 11, 28, it says this, then Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear, and the burden I give you is light. You know, Jesus says to us to come to him. Not to study the Bible or pray for like four hours and make sure you do daily double every single day and make sure it's in the morning because at night he's asleep. No, Jesus actually reminds us that his burden is light. And actually in the message version, it says that he teaches us the unforced rhythms of grace. You know, God doesn't want to be another item on your to-do list. He does not want to be a chore that you tick off. You might be surprised, but God actually wants a relationship with you. He wants to be close to you. He wants to spend time with you. For some reason, our brains can turn the time that we spend with God into something that we have to do to be a good Christian. It's almost like we think it earns us something, some status in heaven or whatever. But I hate to break it to you, God is not sitting up in heaven with a gold star chart marking off when you do and do not read your Bible. If we have this mindset toward our life with God, we are so limited. The Bible is good for us and it is vitally important to our Christian life, but it does not save us. It does not purchase our freedom from sin. Jesus Christ did that. There is nothing I can do to earn myself a seat at his table. I simply can only accept his gift of salvation. And honestly, shouldn't that be the thing that actually drives this desire in us to want to spend time with him? If we can take on this mindset that my daily time with God is not earning me something, but it's simply being with him, what we actually receive from our daily double time with God will exponentially increase. There is no special way to spend time with God. It doesn't have to be done at a certain time of the day, in some certain position, or we have to tick off some list of certain things to do. No way. The most important thing that we can do is pay attention to our motivation for being there. Our daily double time with God is just another opportunity to be close to him, just another opportunity to spend time with him, to learn more about him and to become more like him. And let me tell you, there are so many ways to do that. Bible reading is a big one. It is literally, the Bible is God's word. And so what better way to spend time with God than reading his words to us? Prayer is another one that is literally directly communicating with God. Worship, taking time in silence and allowing God to speak. Maybe going for a walk in nature and appreciating God's creation. Filling your mind and your heart with things that you are grateful for, grateful to God for. Loving others, spending time with them, being Jesus to them or even meditating on scripture that you have memorized in the past and how that can really apply to your life in that time. He doesn't give us a to-do list. God is a gracious God and he calls us to come and rest in his grace. So why not today take time to rest in his grace? Enjoy his presence. Maybe even repent for the times where you have treated him like a chore. 
linger a little today in your time with him and allow him to truly fill you with all his goodness and joy that he wants to give you today.